good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to the Grand Tournament. So without further ado, we're opening our packs and seeing what exciting treasures lie ahead of us. So let's pop our first pack on and see what we have at the top. Now this is an uncommon card, so if we click on it, oh, a fearsome doom card. Seven mana, a six eight, and nothing special about it. It is for warlocks only. It's a, a solid card. Keep in mind though that for 6 mana you can get a 6-7. Now it is a demon, so potentially it could be one of these cards that you use in conjunction with uh, the Void Caller, for example. Now our top right card also is an uncommon card. So let's turn it over. And we see one of our frigid snowballs. Again, we've seen this guy before. He's a 2 6 for 4 mana, but he does have plus 1 spell damage. Again, that's solid enough, if I'm spectacular. In 4 mana, it's probably more impactful cards you'd be wanting to play. So now at the bottom left corner, Sorry, did I say bottom left? That's the bottom right, of course. We have a Maiden of the Lake. It's another full mana for 2 6. But this has hero power, costs only 1. So that's actually a really good card to combine with your, well, usage of hero power and inspire. It's got a solid body, it's 6 health. That means it should remain on the board for one or two hits. Now it's able to take out kind of lower health minions. Definitely, give them the option. I'd be playing the Maiden of the Lake over the Frigid Snowboard. So in the bottom left corner this time, we find our rare card. So just skip over her. And go to the top right corner, the top left corner. I'm getting my directions all messed up here today. As you can probably see, it's actually only half past eight, so there you go. I got up a little bit earlier to make sure everything was ready to record this one. So we get a Bone Guard Lieutenant. Inspire, gain plus one health. Two mana for three, two. Again, we've seen that one before. It's a solid card. Works well in conjunction with um, taking out lower minions and buffing up. I'm not sure if that's our third one or not, but certainly it's two we've had, so should be fairly decent. So let's now move down to our uncommon card. We've seen a few uncommons so far. I wonder what this one will be. Let's click and find out. Two mana for a 2 4, so it's a cheap card. However, it can't attack unless you use Inspire. So it does have a big drawback. You might not be able to do much of it at certain times, but you're normally expecting a, a 3 2 with no drawbacks for 2. I can't say I'm overly inspired, if you pardon a pun with this card, as you really need to be making sure you are using your um, hero ability at the same time. Well, that's after, you know, on your next turn, so turn 3 would be your hero ability, which would only leave one mana spare, for example. So let's 
click it and drag our next pack. Is this going to be the one with our legendary in it? It might be, but it's not the top right card. And that is the Undercity Valiant. Now we've seen this guy before. A solid card, I think. Definitely one that I could see being used in Rogue decks. Two mana for three. So now in the bottom right corner, ah, we have a rogue pirate. Brilliant. So that's a buccaneer. For one mana, whenever you equip a weapon, give it plus one attack. That actually looks to be a fairly decent card. Um, you know, you get a 2 1 body for one mana, which is solid enough, but importantly, I'm pretty sure that means that on turn 2, when you equip your daggers, it will be a 2-1. So that's a pretty good card. I like that one. So, we had an uncommon card down here last time. This time, it's an uncommon. So we had a rare card last time. Ah, and it's a golden card we have. Wonderful. Seal of Champions. Give a minion, plus free attack, and divine shield. It's a good way to quickly buff up a minion, take it out, to get another one with it, and then you still have the option of being able to actually you know, make it survive one turn from the divine shield there. But importantly, it is golden. You can see the... Ah, it glows as well there, that's wonderful. It's a nice looking gold card, that one. Ah, now in the top left corner we've got our rare card. So jump straight over to our uncommon one. And we get the Silent Knight. We've seen this guy before, he's a stealth with Divine Shield. 2-2 two, two for free. Okay, you'll probably be able to take it in minion with his Divine Shield still active. And you can still use them. It's okay, but again, three mana. I can maybe see something a bit better in that bracket. So let's see what's behind our blue card here. We get Light's Champion, Battle Cry, Silence, a Demon. It's a 4 3 for 3. All classes are available to this card. 3 mana for a 4 3 is relatively solid. I mean, your spider tank is a, a 3 4 for free, so you might trade off against a 3 2, but you might also be able to trade off against a, a 5 4 or a 4 4 for a little bit less mana. It does also come with being able to silence a demon though, but that is only going to be really useful against Warlock decks. So let's grab our third pack of the day. Is this our epic? Is this our legendary? Let's go down and find out. Now this is our uncommon card here. Mookless Champion. Inspire, give your other minions plus one, plus one. For five mana and a four free. That is a, a good token increase. Uh, apparently it does actually stack now. Um, so that's going to be a pretty solid card, I think. Especially if you're able to use your hero power straight afterwards. Now our, our next card is a rare card. So we'll move up to our top one here. And we get a nice rager. 3 mana for a 5-2. Again, you know, it, it's probably going to get taken out fairly quickly by something that only does 2 damage. There's a lot of AoE abilities that do 2 damage or 
you know, like a small minion. So I think I've said that before. I don't really rate the Ice Rider too much. Now at the very top we've got another uncommon. And it's our familiar Bone Guard Lieutenant. This must be a, a set of Bone Guard packs that we've got today. And down the top right corner. Ah. And now this combines with our Shaman's Totems. So a Tusker Totemic. 3 mana for a 3 2. Battle Cry. Summon any random totem. So for 3 mana you're actually getting 2 minions. And you could get a, a really, really good one. You could get, for example, the Manatide Totem. You could even get the uh, Flame Tongue Totem. Or you might end up getting the Fire Tongue, which is a 1-1. A even so, that's a very solid card, I think. So, we're back to this familiar bottom left corner for a rare card. And we get... A master jouster. We've seen this guy before. Battle cry, reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, gain taunt and divine shield. You know, really? It could almost be anything, so you're either paying six for five six or six for five six taunt and divine shield. Again, I'm never a huge fan of leaving things up to a randomness for it. So, we're now on our second to last pack here. And in our familiar bottom left corner, we find our epic card. We're close to getting our legendary, I'm sure of it. But right now, we've got an uncommon to find. It's a Murloc Knight. Inspire. Summon a random Murloc. 3 4 for 4. That's a solid card. Ah, we've now got our rear card up here. And another rear card. So let's open this other uncommon. Now we find one of our captured Yormangars. We've seen them before. Sidmaya for a 5 9. A big solid body, but again, it's 7 mana. You may be looking for something that will have more of an immediate impact on the game, such as a legendary. So we've got one at the top and one at the bottom here. Well, left and right, I suppose. Let's close my eyes. Me, 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 me. Can I actually whisper by the tool? If he whispers, let him go. Me, 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 me. Mo. Uh, Tuscar Jouster. So there's another Murloc on a, another, um, Paladin card here. Reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, restore 7 health to your hero. Again, I've talked about this one before. For 5 mana, a driver get a guaranteed 3-3 free, free ancient or antique heal bot. You shall always guarantee your 8 health. And now an injured Kvaldir. 1 mana for a 2-4. Battle cry, deal 3 damage to this minion. So that actually starts off as a 2 1. However, if you're a priest, you can heal it back up in turn 2. And yeah, that, that, that could be a good solid card. I can see that being quite useful. Even a 1 for 2 1 is not too bad in the early games. So we have our rare. Or rather, our epic card here. Now, what do you think this could be? Will it be a warlock card? Perhaps it will be a golden mage card. I think it's going to be a warlock card. It's a priest card. Confuse. Swap the attack and health of all minions for two mana. That could be useful. It might not be. Difficult to really tell. So we're coming up to our last pack here. 
this could be our legendary the series should get one in every 20 or so packs so this should be our pack as it pops open let's open up the top left corner and get a shadow pan rider 5 mana, potentially a 6-7 of course the good side about this is on turn 4 potentially if you play a coin that would give it a 6-7 on turn 4 so really good in comp with your coin so that's our rare card jump to our uncommon one here 2 mana for a 2-3 flame juggler again We've seen this guy before, 1 damage to a random enemy, it might be good, it might not be. So the bottom right corner, a Dalaran Aspirant, 4 mana for a 3-5, any time you use your hero power, this guy will gain plus 1 spell damage, so that will stack up rapidly. And that could actually be solid, I mean 4 for 3 5 is decent enough as it is. But being able to gain spell damage each turn, of course it doesn't start with it, unless you already play it, so that could be useful. Now is this? Ah, this is our legendary. So let's go back and open up. And we get a sparring partner, taunt, battle cry, give a minion taunt. A lot of your cards seem to be all based around taunt in this deck, in this uh, series. So again, it could be a decent enough card. But I think you're all waiting to find out what's behind the golden card. Now this means it's legendary. And this is the last card for today. So what shall it be? A priest card? Maybe it'll be a neutral card. Or shall it be a druid card? I think it's going to be a neutral card. Let's click it and find out. So it's a rogue card. Nine mana. Eight. Four. Anubarak. Death Rattle. Return this to your hand and summon a 4-4 four, four, Nerubian. So that's a really solid card. I mean, he does have a low amount of health, but you don't risk losing a card as he will go back into your hand. You also get a 4 4 body and play it again in the next turn potentially. So that could be a solid card. I'll need to look up and find out if there's any good rogue decks that have been kind of designed with this guy in base now. Of course it is 9 mana, so he is a big, big cost, but he is going to be tricky to get rid of, unless you can silence him. I also like Anubarak as in the uh, boss in Warcraft, I think he's a, a giant kind of Ankaraji beetle type thing, so it's quite cool. Oh there we go, we got our first legendary. We should get another one at some point soon. Thanks very much everybody for watching and have a great day now and bye bye.